As you very well know by now, Zimmerman has been charged with second degree murder and he has turned himself into the police where he is being held right now. The special prosecutor, Angela Corey, is saying, we did not come to this decision lightly. He is going to be charged with second degree murder. She deliberately kept the grand jury out so that he would not receive first degree murder. Now, the National Action Coalition had the people backing Trayvon Martin, uh, including individuals like Al Sharpton, had this to say. We just wanted an arrest, and we got it. And I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ben Crump, the lawyer for the Trayvon Martin family, said, this is what they wanted. They wanted justice. They wanted an arrest, and they want Zimmerman to receive a fair trial. Now, this is what they also said. We believe in our hearts that he was wrong to kill Trayvon Martin. Zimmerman's lawyer, Mark O'Mara, says he doesn't believe that Zimmerman will get a fair trial. And the reason that I think this is probably true is because, because of the whole media circus that's been around it and everybody's heard about it. And of course, there wouldn't be as big a media circus had the guy been stopped, arrested, questioned and detained until something could have been figured out, until things have been investigated. But they didn't investigate it. So this is the prosecution's, frankly, the prosecution's own fault for this. Now, or rather, the, the government who will be the, the prosecution. Now, uh, I don't think Zimmerman's going to get the maximum penalty for second-degree murder, which is life imprisonment. I think, essentially, because his defense well, I believe fraudulently stands on self-defense, will not get the maximum sentence because it'll start some kind of precedent for arguing against self-defense. So I believe he's actually going to be convicted, but of a much lesser crime and serve a much lesser punishment. He will not get life in prison. Mark my words.